Okay, here we are back with part two of Enemy Pie. I wonder how Jeremy's going to feel. When Jeremy opened the door, he seemed surprised. Is that what you guys were thinking? He stood on the other side of the screen door and looked at me, waiting for me to say something. I was nervous. Can you play? I asked. He looked confused. I'll go ask my mom, he said. He came back with his shoes in his hand. His mom walked around the corner to say hello. You boys stay out of trouble, she said, smiling. We rode bikes for a while and played on the trampoline. Then we made some water balloons and threw them at neighbor girls, but we missed. Jeremy's mom made us lunch. After lunch, we went over to my house. It was strange, but I was kind of having fun with my enemy. He almost seemed nice, but of course I couldn't tell Dad that since he worked so hard to make his enemy pie. Jeremy Ross liked my basketball hoop. He said he wished he had a basketball hoop, but they didn't have room for one. I let him win a game just to be nice. Jeremy Ross knew how to throw a boomerang. He threw it and it came right back to him. I threw it and it went over my house into the backyard. When we climbed over the fence to find it, the first thing Jeremy noticed was my treehouse. I wonder if Jeremy's going to want to go into it. Uh-oh, that's what I'm thinking. My treehouse was my treehouse. I was the boss. If my sister wanted in, I didn't have to let her. If my dad wanted in, I didn't have to let him in. And if Jeremy wanted in, can we go in? He asked. I knew he was going to ask me that, but he was the top person, the only person on my enemy list. And enemies aren't allowed in my treehouse. But he did teach me how to throw a boomerang. And he did have me over for lunch. And he did let me play in his trampoline. He wasn't being a very good enemy. Okay, I said, but hold on. Hmm, what do you think he's going to go do? Oops, I forgot the picture. I climbed up ahead of him and tore the enemy list off the wall. I had a checkerboard and some cards in the treehouse, and we played games until my dad called us down for dinner. We pretended we didn't hear him, and when he came out to get us, we tried to hide from him. But somehow he found us. Dad made us macaroni and cheese for dinner, my favorite. It was Jeremy's favorite, too. Maybe Jeremy Ross wasn't so bad after all. I was beginning to think that maybe we should just forget about the enemy pie. But sure enough, after dinner, Dad brought out the pie. I watched as he cut the pie into eight thick pieces. Dad, I said. It sure is nice having a new friend in the neighborhood. I was trying to get his attention and trying to tell him that Jeremy Ross was no longer my enemy. But Dad only smiled and nodded. I think he thought I was just pretending. Dad dished up three plates side by side with big pieces of pie and giant scoops of ice cream. He passed one to me and one to Jeremy. Wow, Jeremy said, looking at the pie. My dad never makes pie like this for us. It was at this point that I panicked. I didn't want Jeremy to eat enemy pie. He was my friend. I couldn't let him do it. Jeremy, don't eat it. It's bad pie. I think it's poisonous or something. Jeremy's fork stopped before reaching his mouth. He crumbled his eyebrows and looked at me funny. I felt relieved. I had saved his life. I was a hero. If it's so bad, Jeremy asked, then why has your dad already eaten half of the pie? I turned to look at my dad. Sure enough, he was eating my enemy pie. Good stuff, he mumbled through a mouthful. And that was all he said. I sat there watching, eating, watching them eating enemy pie for a few seconds. Dad was laughing and Jeremy was happily eating and neither of them was losing any hair. It seemed safe enough, so I took a tiny taste. Enemy pie was delicious. After dessert, Jeremy rode my bike, I'm sorry, Jeremy rode his bike home, but not before inviting me over to play on his trampoline in the morning. He said he'd teach me how to flip. As for enemy pie, I still don't know how to make it. I still wonder if enemies really do hate it, or if, it, or if their hair falls out, or their breath turns bad, but I don't know if I'll ever get an answer because I just lost my best enemy. So if you want to do something extra, you could draw your favorite scene 
or you could do like the next part of the story, see what Jeremy and his friend do together. Okay, bye.